24 hours a day. Special charges apply. V96 is WBBM FM Chicago. With Eddie and Jobo in the morning. Chicago's dance beat. V96. I like the place. Mm-hmm. 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 No dick No No doubt. Black Street Productions. We out. We out. Right. We out. B96, Chicago's dance beat. We're the radio station giving away a plane load of winners to Jamaica with Eddie and Jobo's Beach Bash. Call now and register if you want to go. 312-266-9600. And here's a good reason. Rain turning into snow on a high today, 40. Tonight's going to go down to 15. Tomorrow, only 20 with more f- more snow. This bites. Uh, it's 39 right now. I want you to close your eyes and imagine you're back asleep. With the, why is it we sleep so much better when the rain is raining now? I left my windows open last night. Oh, I hear the traffic on the black streets. Mm-hmm. No diggity. Ooh. Liz Taylor's recovering after a brain surgery yesterday. She's okay. Two-hour yeah. operation. They got that uh, real new easy way. They put this thing up to your head, and it tells us exactly where the problem is, and you don't even have to shave the head anymore. Which he's probably glad about. I'd hate to have a brain scan, man. God knows what they'd find in my oh, head. Yeah, well, if anything. Well, you heard the story of the <laughs> Illinois Supreme Court. <laughs> yeah. Airhead. <laughs> Illinois Supreme Court upheld a DUI conviction by Naperville police. They upheld it yesterday. The guy was just in his car because his girlfriend wouldn't let him sleep in her apartment. Yeah, and but he, was he just, had the engine running because, because he was it was cold. cold. Yeah. It was cold, and, and they arrested him. And they now, how are they going to know if he wasn't just driving, though? I can see both sides, but uh, it does it does kind of... Let's go to a car phone. Rich is on the road. Rich, you want to chime in on this? I I think it sucks. What do you think? Hello? Yeah, you got a DUI? Yeah, I got one about 11 years ago. And I was pulled over in my car and I was sleeping when I got it. Yeah, was your car running? Yeah, it was. That's why I got the DUI and the police told me next time I'm going to do that to put the keys in the glove compartment and get in the back seat of the car to sleep. As long as the keys are out in the open, they consider that a tent and a DUI. So you, if you put them in the glove box? If you put them in the glove box or, or if they're hidden, as long as the keys are out in the open and you're you're in the front seat of the car, you're gone. Huh. You That's know, on a fr- it. And a Friday night, man, half of Chicago's drunk, so you remember Hey, well, this, this is on a Thursday night. Uh, <laughs> well. All yeah. right, take care, buddy. Thanks. Let's All go right. to Mundelein and Joanne. Hello, you're on B96. What do you think? Good morning and welcome back, Eddie and Jobo. Yes, thank you. We're so glad to have you back. I think I remember your voice. No, I've never called in before, but I've listened to you guys. I was so I actually would never listen to B ninety six again after you left. Oh. <laughs> I wouldn't. I just love your morning show. Whoa. Anyway, I used to work for a manufacturer and distributor of alcohol breath analyzers. I did that for seven years. I ran the company and he sold it. So it's in Ohio now. And the law is you can't be in the driver's seat. Had he been asleep in the passenger seat or the back seat, he would have been probably okay. But you, he was in the driver's seat, and that's stupid. Frankie says you're wrong. No, you're wrong. Anytime anyone's in a car at all, uh, I know that that's the law. I know that that's let's the get, law. Let's get a cop to call. But you can protest it under if you're not in no, the driver's seat. No, if you seat. don't have the keys in your possession. Well, he shouldn't have had the keys in his possession either. Well, you're busted. Well, he was cold. He wanted to warm his I engine up. I understand that, but the, warm but, himself up. Uh, most states, you can protest it as long as you're not in the driver's seat, because they have been protests on. And as long as you're not in the driver's seat, if, even if he had been in the in the passenger seat, not even in the back seat, he would have been okay because it's impossible to drive from the passenger seat. You know what we'll oh, do? I don't know. You don't know my ex-wife. <laughs> <laughs> She's driving yeah. the back seat too. <laughs> That's you know the only what? thing she did back there. Let's get a <laughs> let's get a Chicago cop to call. That would be a good idea. 96, 96. But you know what? A lot of that stuff, the police don't really know the laws either. You really. <laughs> It, oh, it, boy, it, that's, that's real helpful. No, no, I'm serious. It's so, I, but, it's it, because each state now has their own rulings as well. well, we'll each find village out what has it, their own. We'll find out what it is for Chicago. Joanne, right, you're the best. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Have a All right, bye-bye. Chicago, Melissa, hello. Hello, I have a, a similar situation. What happened? <clears throat> I'm 18 now. When I was um, 16, I was sitting in my mom's car on the um, driver's side, and they arrested me for no license. Did you have a license? No. You were just sitting well, and not driving? Right. I had, my mom had the car running. You see, but anytime you're behind a vehicle, when a car is running, or drinking or what, you're responsible for that vehicle. If you don't have a license, you will get busted. That's but, the law. Yeah, my mom was teaching me how to drive for my license, though. Yeah, I was three years pre-med, same thing. <laughs> I, I know. Yeah, but you know what? You know what's amazing? Little kids, though, get in there. 
I used to get my oh, mom yeah. and dad's car in the driveway and get out there and fake like I you're driving. My, Does that mean I would have got arrested no, for having the car? car wasn't running and it's in the driveway. I let my daughter back the car out of the garage, you know, that kind of thing. That's normal. Well, yeah. we need a Chicago cop to give us a definitive uh, interpretation of this law because I know a lot of people sleep in their cars on Friday nights and in parking lots of bars. I know a lot of people that do that, too. Why are you looking at me like that, Eddie? 591 96 96. Eddie and Joe Bo, it's Friday! Now an NBA tall table. I met Scotty Pippen at McDonald's. On the next Montel. Tonight at 9 on UPN Power 50, WPWR TV. Coca Cola Classic presents Eddie and Jobo's Beach Bash in Jamaica. Now boarding all passengers for Eddie and Jobo's Beach Bash in Jamaica here on Air Jamaica. Eddie V, who is boarding this hour? Well, hopefully, Candy Lessman of Kenosha. Area 414? Yeah. I didn't know we had cheese heads listen to our show. Yeah. And there's no Packer paraphernalia allowed in Jamaica. Right now, so please leave your name and number. We'll get back to you. Candy. Oh man, we wanted to take Candy to Jamaica with us. Even though you're a cheesehead, man, we'd love to go and melt with you on the beaches. Oh man, you well, got to change that answering machine. How hard would it have been to put on that answering machine? Eddie and Jobo are back on B96. Well, we may call you again up there in area code 414. Hey, Dad! Yeah, in the meantime, change that answering machine. We want to send you to Jamaica next time, okay? God, are we going to have a melting pot of what? Cheese heads? Bye-bye. You can win a seat on Eddie and Jobo's plane to Jamaica. Just call 312-266-9600 and register. Then every time your phone rings, just answer. Eddie and Jobo are back on B96. Eddie and Jobo are back on B96. You could win a trip to Jamaica with Eddie and Jumbo from Coca-Cola Classic and B96. Let's get together and feel all right. Chicago's dance beat. B96. That is Cardigans, the 620. We got a call yesterday from Dana, who was going to meet that guy last night she met over the internet. I wonder if she's listening. Call us back. I'd like to find out how that date went. I bet it went great. I see 40,000 marriages are consummated a year now through people that meet through the computer. My dad's really? been married 25 years, been constipated. <laughs> Rain changing to snow in a high 40 today and then getting real cold and snowy over the weekend. It's 39 right now. We have a Chicago cop on the phone. Officer Pete, what's up, buddy? Hey, how's it going? Doing From the great. Ninth District. Hey, got a question for you. Did you hear about the Naperville story? The guy was simply in his car. With the engine in, running. In the, uh, in the parking lot of his girlfriend's apartment complex, and he got a DUI. He said, I had no intention of driving. I just didn't have anywhere to stay. And is, that, is that against the law? So now, where was he sitting at? He was sitting in his girlfriend's Apartment complex, parking lot, in the car with the engine running because he was, he was like laying down in the front seat. Okay, yeah, if the engine is running and you're in the front, in the driver's seat, you could be written for a DUI. How about if the uh, if the engine's not running? No, but the engine has to be running and you have to be behind the wheel. All right, so uh, so if he was in the back seat, and the, but he still had his keys, we got so many different interpretations of this. Somebody said if the keys have to be in the glove compartment or the keys can't be in the car at all or something. Wait a minute, are you, are you sure yourself, if the guy's drunk and he's in the front seat of his car, but it's not running, that's not DUI? No, it's not DUI. The car has to be running. Why did the Supreme Court say, oh, okay, the car has to be running? Right. Frankie, you're still shaking your head. No. Yeah, because this guy's that, a cop. Yeah, but I know that they can still arrest you. Public and they can nail you on five different things if they want. You know I'm right, Pete. What are you talking about? Stuff now. Say what? We we're talking about DUI. As far as it's no, he got a DUI, two hundred and fifty dollar fine, one year court supervision. Pete I think, fried I out. Think we just the lost. engine has to be running to be behind the driver's side. And the car phone has to be working for us to <laughs> understand this bit. <laughs> Put him on hold for a second. There you go. You know, he only had, the guy only had, he would have stayed at a hotel, he said, but he only had 25 cents in his pocket, so. I know a hotel he could have gone to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Let's start off. Frank, I, I do I've know. I've tried them all. I, I do know you have have it all together when it comes to crank calls. What are we doing this hour? There's a brass bed for sale. And, uh, well, he could have slept. He could have slept in the brass bed. <laughs>